Hello everyone, Trix here, and welcome back to Wario Land 3. Last time we um, crossed the halfway point of collecting all of the music coins. The halfway point of the game itself is something we crossed a while ago, uh, of course, so... <laughs> we are really getting close towards ending this game. Two more quadrants we need to do. The first one we've already started last time, and we are going to finish it today. Eastern Quadrant, we unfortunately have to do the entire thing. <laughs> S4, S5, Cave of Flames, and the one on top of the tower, above the clouds, which is S6. And that is what we're going to be doing today. All three of them not per se the most difficult stages, so hopefully we are going to be done with this one without a whole lot of trouble. Like always, we are going to do them in order, of course, so it is time for the Steep Canyon. Also need to make sure I put my notes in order, of course. I see S5 and S6 are switched around. <laughs> One thing is very fortunate in the Steep Canyon. This first part, the part you needed to go to if you weren't able to swim yet, or at least against the current. <laughs> that part actually does not have any music coins, so we can indeed skip it entirely. <laughs> the first coin is going to be up here, actually. So a simple dash jump from the door. If you actually opened up a while ago. With the big foot, it actually uh, cracked up a lot of walls <laughs> in multiple stages. From there, we can actually jump towards the coin. And that will be our first one. Next, it is time to actually go through this door. Towards the red and the green key area. Red key area first, of course. And this is the room where a bunch of uh, stingers were actually ready in order to turn us into Puffy Wario. Now that is something we unfortunately still need to work with. Because unlike the previous room, this time around we cannot actually skip everything in the water. <laughs> There's indeed going to be a music coin floating up higher than the water. Now this one over here. Now that will make two in total in this stage. But of course we are not going to go out yet. It was the final one in this room. The only one in this room. <laughs> but we also can go towards the green key and chest area from here. And there we need to continue. Let's head towards the Owl Room. I actually talked about that one last time. The moment we were here, in order to collect the green chest. There's indeed a lot of coins in that room. And also one over here, of course. And this guy can actually help us. And that makes three. Now, let's go pretty much double it by collecting two more in the next room. Hi there, Mr. Owl. It is time to go through a spiky maze. <laughs> Here's the first one. For that one, you actually don't need the owl. It's low enough that you can jump to it with your invincibility frames. However, uh, that is not the only one. For the rest, we do need some uh, wings. <laughs> Stay at the top, because all the way at the top of the screen, we can find coin number five. Now, we need to exit the room, of course. Like I explained last time, you cannot actually go right and try to exit the room by uh, going in the way you came. That does not work, unfortunately. We are here. That makes five coins. And the grey, red and green area totally cleared out. In fact, we even have two of the keys. <laughs> by grabbing this red one, we have the red and the green key. I wanted to say grey, but we don't have the grey key. <laughs> Could actually arrange that. <laughs> It's not too far into the stage, of course. It's over here. Uh oh, <laughs> wanted to jump out. <laughs> there we go. That makes three of the keys. <laughs> now, um, next coin is up there, by the way. It's not as easy to get as it might actually look. Because it will actually require us to roll. However, we first need to come from the other side. So head towards the grey chest. And from there, as you can see, there's also a slope leading back right, and that we need to take in order to crash through the wall on the right. Oh! Well, let's try that again. Need to jump a bit earlier, it seems. I'm only rolling over here so I can roll backwards. <laughs> it is faster than running, so... <laughs> yeah, there we go. Awesome. Six coins obtained. Heading towards the grey chest is not required, because there's nothing there. <laughs> so, let's go towards the blue key area, last. And collect the final two coins. One of them is going to be through a wall yet again, <laughs> where we need to roll. Just like the previous one. 
I'm also pretty sure we obtained it um, accidentally last time. Because we're rolling too far, or almost uh, collected it. So we know where it is. The final one is going to be in the room to the right of here. And therefore we still need to open up this doorway. This fire puzzle needs to be solved. There's going to be a coin there, and of course the slope that we need in order to roll towards the blue key and blue chest. Making this the first stage where we're not just collecting 8 coins, but also all 4 of the keys. <laughs> There's something about collecting four keys, by the way, uh, later on, so... I'm not going to explain that quite yet. It's a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> Therefore, I can't really talk about it too much. But collecting all four of the keys... There is something about that, actually. But first, we're going to clear this minigame. I could actually cut it out if I... Uh, want to. But usually I do not want to, so... <laughs> Might as well continue talking. Oh, that was quick. Two under par. We're getting good at this minigame. <laughs> so, one more coin to collect. We know where it is. I really don't like these enemies. <laughs> Let's get start rolling. Even though it is tempting, I'll try not to grab the blue key in this case. <laughs> you will find out later why. You might actually say I'm going to be doing that anyway later on. <laughs> but that's going to be outside of the project. So, for now, it's going to be 8 coins. Nothing more. Blue key can float around over there. We'll be seeing that part of this game a bit later. So, for now... We're just going to exit the door that used to be the blue chest. And we can scratch this stage when it comes to music coins. And that is all this is about for now. Nine more stages to go. Alright, it turns daytime. So, once again, we're going to be entering S6 in nighttime. So I really need to change up the <laughs> scenery then. <laughs> it's the only stage we only saw in... Uh, one setting, only during nighttime. I also would like to show off the stage in daytime. I did promise I would actually do that, so... Um, yeah, unfortunately it does not really come out too well yet again. But we can change the time of day, of course, so... <laughs> Let's go into the Cave of Flames first, anyway. For this stage, there is no difference between day and night. There's not even an outside here, so... <laughs> first up, red chest area. No, oh, stupid enemy. <laughs> In order to find the first coin, we simply drop down here. Nothing more than that. For the second coin, we need to go to the next room. We need to go climb these enemies. Not just the platforms, we need the enemies in order to climb it. <laughs> Going all the way to the top. You can already see it over there. I have no need for you, sir! <laughs> I don't need to go to the chest. I need to go to a chest, not this one. <laughs> I only have two coins after all, so... Not time for a chest quite yet. And that takes care of the beginning of the stage. Next up, let's go clean up the main room itself. And... Bat oh, stupid enemy ruined my jump! <laughs> go away! <laughs> To crash down the ladder. No, ah. Having way too much enemy failure here. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. That makes three. Now we want to go towards the grey key area. Ouch. I hate birds in video games. It's been a while since I've said that, so. <laughs> Let's do it again. Anyway, this is where we want to go. As you can see, there's a door down here. It's a very well hidden secret in the station one, but you can see it is there from the great chest. So let's try to actually get in there. Right, done playing around with fire, Wario. <laughs> then bash through the wall over here to the door that we were able to see from the higher ledge. Of course, an area we have not been to yet. There was no need to, there's only a coin here. <laughs> and 
therefore we're seeing this area first. It is over here. But of course, a puzzle needs to be solved before we're able to actually get there. Bam! Still got my pound from a ladder. <laughs> Pretty obvious what we need to do. Get hit by this guy all the way to the right. So we can crack open this block. Next, we want to wait for it to run out. In the meantime, also make our way back up again, of course. And then the trick is going to be crouch and hold right. Nothing more. <laughs> That is how we get in here. Well, sir, I thank you for your time. Have a nice life. <laughs> I will keep you alive. Now, let's move on. We're halfway through the stage. So, let's go check out the blue and green areas. Make way back up again. You, go play with the birds, not with me. <laughs> Might as well go towards the green area first, actually. We're going to be done here really quickly. Because there's only one coin for us to collect over here. And that one is all the way at the beginning. <laughs> Luckily, the tricky part to the right, we don't have to go to. There's no coins. And therefore, we are going back immediately. Collecting all of the rest in the blue area. Um, let's go climb. This area is a bit confusing. I don't really remember what to do here. But we'll find out. There's enemy blocks over there. Pretty sure we need to crack those open. Need to bring an enemy, of course. There's going to be an extra platform up there. And this way we can actually get towards the key. Now, um, I think it's get complicated. There's way too many of these guys. <laughs> get one of them at least. Go down and go through the door. Man, there's a lot of crowds in this stage. <laughs> Four of these enemies again. Come on. You go up there. Um, you go straight down here. You go to the next one over here. And then we need one more. You. Who said you were allowed to fall down? <laughs> but hopefully the guy up there did not despawn. Looks like he did not. Alright, awesome. Next. Oh. I see I've made a bit of an error. There are a couple of enemy blocks I need to break through, and it seems they're on the same level as the door. <laughs> That's what you get for not reading on. Which is not easy to do in playing the game, so... <laughs> Looking in the corner of my eye and actually seeing one line is already difficult enough. But this I actually should have combined with the other one. And therefore I need to do this again. <laughs> Because apparently the blocks to the right of the door over here are enemy blocks we can actually break through. Oh, only the first part of it. <laughs> well, anyway, a bit of a delay, but here is coin number seven. One more, and that one is going to be the impossible to miss coin <laughs> that I actually mentioned last time. <laughs> in the gyrocopter room where we actually need to flatten ourselves in order to get towards the chest. moment we fall down S flat Wario up there <laughs> is going to be coin and that one's impossible to miss and therefore we already obtained it last time so <laughs> nothing too spectacular in this final part and this we already know we do need to flatten ourselves of course because we still want to go towards the blue chest <laughs> need to finish the stage there But at least we have 8 coins in tow. Thank you. And that was stage number 2 for today. One more to go. Alright. 
Yeah, right now I don't really have to play, so I'm using that in order to read on on my notes to know which order all of the coins appear in. <laughs> Smart move, I know. Should have done that earlier. Um, S6 above the clouds. I did remember to actually put it in daytime. Because we never saw this stage during daytime, and therefore we're doing it now. <laughs> Luckily we don't need the moon to be active, because there's not going to be any coins in that area. So we can easily do it. First coin is going to be to the left. Don't even have to explain that. And then it's going to be time to climb. Heading towards the grey key room first, of course. A little too early. Man, the stage looks different now. <laughs> this is something we are not used to. <laughs> but at least we are here. Grey key room. That is where we're going to start. Two coins over here. So hold left on this first drop. <laughs> and I almost missed it. <laughs> but I still got it. Go drop down again, of course. The second coin is, of course, also going to be in that kind of situation. However, that one is going to be on the other gap. <laughs> the one we're climbing right now. Also one we need to quickly drop for. Unless I can actually cheese it by jumping into it from below. Let's go see if we can. Well, there's an enemy above it, so... Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That is awesome video game design, Nintendo. And I still fell. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's no longer funny, guys. <laughs> would actually not mind if you stop doing that. And I thought I was a genius. And then right afterwards, I still get pummeled. Okay, be careful. Alright, we are out of here. Took a bit longer than I actually anticipated. Even though I did find myself a shortcut in the meantime. <laughs> it still took way too long. <laughs> now, let's go towards the second main room. Let's get back to business. All the funny business happening is funny and everything, but... Uh, <laughs> business also still goes on. Five more coins to find. Next up, red key area, of course. So let's go climb towards the first doorway that we find. This area. There's no need for us to collect the key, and therefore we can immediately go into the left door and try to get this coin over here. It's going to be hell with these guys in the way. <laughs> but of course, not impossible. So, um, four more coins to find. All of them are going to be in the higher area. Most of them in the green uh, chest room, by the way. <laughs> you might have seen most of them already when we actually walked past them as a zombie. Green area, right over here. However, there's also going to be a coin below there. It's the only coin in this main room, so drop quickly in order to obtain that. And then we can grab the final three in the green key and chest room. Climb back up to where we were. Man, this music. <laughs> Sounds so different from the nighttime theme. <laughs> of all the stages, I think the difference in day and night actually looks the biggest in this one. <laughs> right, zombie, please wait. I don't want you quite yet. I'm first after the coin all the way to the right. And if we're zombie, we're not able to actually get in there. Well, birds. Here's the first one. For the second and third one, we do want to go down. Nope. <laughs> nice job, sir. <laughs> Let's go get zombified. And slowly make our way towards the next level in this room. Drop. Now, that's it left. Similar to the previous coin, we need to go crash through a couple of blocks. Not going to be possible as zombie, of course. <laughs> Howdy, Mr. Toad. 
Bam. <laughs> it's right over here. So we need to come back for that later. In the moment we are back to normal Wario. Which is something we can arrange right over here. But first we're going to get the coin over here of course. Otherwise we need to go back down here again. <laughs> and only now we can actually go over here. Alright, now let's go back to the grey chest. Of course the green chest is uh, easier to obtain. That one's in this room. However, for that we need to actually clear the golf minigame. <laughs> and that I don't feel like doing. And therefore we are going to exit this room again. Which is right beside the chest. And therefore just as far as a walk. But we can save time by simply dropping down all the way. Hopefully not get interrupted by stupid cloud platforms. The first time in our lives we actually don't want them. <laughs> and instead of actually playing the minigame, this is much quicker. Yeah, this stage I actually thought through uh, beforehand. <laughs> don't do that with all the stages, as you might have noticed. But with this one, I definitely did. Actually, putting us at 21 minutes. Perfect time to stop this episode. Because we are done with the Southern Quadrant. We only have seven more stages to do. All of them are going to be in the Eastern Quadrant. Two episodes we are going to do in order to cover E1, E2, E3, and then in the other episode, E4, E5, and E6. And then the finale of this project is going to be the coverage of E7, combined with the reward why we're doing this. And of course, the final boss, the end of the story, and the credits. That is going to be my agenda for the rest of the week. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Up until the Southern Quadrant. There is only seven more stages to do. For a total of 56 of these coins. Man. If I say it like that, then there's still a lot of work to do. <laughs> so, see you folks next time. And Shrieks out.